All right, so what I'm doing right now is that this fitting right here that goes to the oil um, that goes to the oil pressure gauge, and I can take this loose and crank the engine, and it doesn't even uh, dribble out or nothing. I'm pretty sure it should. This just makes me feel really uneasy about everything. So do this at your own risk. I read on several forums and stuff that there's that bolt right there that has a little spring and plunger behind it. It says to pour 90 weight in there or even just motor oil, but it says 90 weight's better. So I have my little 90 weight uh, oil bottle right here with the pump on it and I'm going to fill it up and see if it gets oil pressure. Well there it goes, right there. It's a 15 16 nut. Even though I use a 24 millimeter, it fit tight enough. Anyway, just be careful to make sure you keep track of the spring, the little plunger in there, put it all back in place like it was, and it has a plastic gasket. Alright, here goes nothing. Alright, it didn't show any oil pressure on the gauge, but right here the line is actually broke and I didn't realize it, and it just squirted oil out. So, um, it looks like that method of priming it actually does work, and that's awesome. This is just my opinion, but I want to say that once you get it primed, it needs to be sealed off because most likely the air will let it run back out of it. Because, look at... Uh, just leaving it open a few minutes, it doesn't it doesn't squirt out of here no more. Okay, yeah, it did, but it was slower than it should have been. I don't know, but it's probably a good idea to have that sealed off. I'm pretty sure that'll allow it to lose its prime again. Anyway, let me get that fitting worked out. I think I could just uh, reattach that hose. I think you could cut it off and reattach it, but anyway. I can't really guarantee it has good oil pressure, but at least it has something coming out of that pipe right there that shows it's at least getting something. Before, I can sit there and crank it and crank it and crank it. I probably shouldn't have done that, and it wouldn't even dribble out or nothing. And for anybody that's wondering, that's a worn out old engine that's really, really old. And what I was getting at is if you're wondering if it should at least be dribbling out of there just by cranking it. And that starter's really not that fast. Yes, I'm going to say yes. That's my opinion at least. I just thought this might be helpful. If you found this video entertaining or helpful, please like and subscribe in.